Hey, it's me, Stephanie, and it is time for my weekly weigh-in, and I'm gonna try to like beeline through this video because I've already tried to record it twice and I have been interrupted by my children. How dare them? How dare they interrupt me? <laughs> JK, I love my children. Okay, so I had a great week. I weighed in last Tuesday. Today is Sunday, so that was almost a week ago. And at that weigh-in, I was down 2.4 pounds which I'm so excited about. My grand total was at 17 pounds. And I think the lowest that I've been is like 17.2 or 17.4, I'd have to double check. But anyway, I feel like the low carb is going really well in terms of weight loss and blood sugar. So I dropped out of Weight Watchers mainly because I was getting nothing from the meetings. I just felt like an alien there. I don't know how to describe it other than I live in a small town and I'm not from this small town. And I just feel like it's a little, you know, everybody's got their seat and their friends and they all have known each other for 20 years. And then I'm like the outsider who's like, ah, a little bit loud and different. And I just never really felt very comfortable there, which is funny because usually I feel like I can like mesh in with any crowd of people but yeah I just I just was not fitting in there but I did love the weekly weigh-ins and that really helped me get back on track I did like freestyle but once I started to see that my fasting blood sugars were impaired and over a hundred which is not good is not good even though my a1c was normal range my fasting blood sugars were not good once I realized that it like scared the crap out of me and I decided, okay, I have been thinking and tiptoeing and like kind of dangling my foot in the water, like the low carb keto world. And I'm like, well, the only way to fix your blood sugar is to fix your insulin problems. And that means lots of activity and lots of carb management. So, excuse me, I'm drinking a bubbly grapefruit soda. Pardon me. It's a uh, grapefruit flavored sparkling water. So once I realized that, I just decided, okay, I have got to figure out how many carbs my body can handle right now and have a fasting blood sugar in the low 90s. And I tried quite a range of carbs this week and my in the last two weeks actually and my blood sugars have ranged from like 90 all the way up to 114. The 114 were the days that I wasn't really too picky about my carbs and I kind of took a day off and I'm like well I'll just kind of see you know what happens maybe yeah. Now I know. <laughs> I know that my blood sugar is not good when I eat that many carbs. So I've got to keep my carbs around 20 to 25. I was kind of hoping that I could be one of those people that could stay in nutritional ketosis and have good blood sugars if I ate like 50, but I, I can't. I absolutely cannot. And I feel very confident about this decision to do 20 to 25. And I just remember thinking, Oh my gosh, who, why would anybody eat that few carbs? That cannot be healthy. You're missing out on food groups. You're, you know, it's not a good sustainable way to eat. But the way that I'm looking at it now is that I am missing out on foods that happen to be toxic to me. A high blood sugar is not healthy. I might be getting some vitamins and minerals and fiber and antioxidants from you know, maybe a big bowl of fruit, but what's happening in my blood sugar, it's toxic for my body. My blood sugar should not be spiking and being that high. So for now, I have to really limit my carbs to 20 to 25, and it's been an adjustment. My food addiction has reared its ugly head even in the last couple of weeks, a couple times, and I have paid for it, and I have seen what happens with my blood sugar and it's I'm just a work in progress I am I am not perfect I have never claimed to be perfect I am still learning I am still figuring out what foods I like I'm still figuring out what foods I feel 
satisfied eating because I have major problems with food FOMO, food fear of missing out. Like I can be so good and staying in my little zone and if I'm somewhere like maybe out of my environment or maybe I'm watching somebody else eat something, I, I get like a, this physical like anxiety and I sometimes have to leave the room. Not every time, but sometimes there are there are moments where I just like I'm like an addict. Well, I mean, I am an addict, but it's it's sad. And um, I don't really like doing like major food deprivation because it does sort of spark that anxiety. But it has to happen right now, unfortunately for my health and so I'm just having to like white knuckle my way through it figure out from trial and error what strategies work for me so I'm still working on that I'm figuring out what foods I like to have around some like go-to emergency foods some things that I can throw in my bag when I'm going out I feel like I have mastered what places I can stop at for like some fast food in case I'm out on the go and you know I don't want to pack a cooler because it's 100 degrees so I'm figuring it out <laughs> And I will keep you posted on how things go. So today is Sunday. I weigh in again on Tuesday. I have not had a perfect week this week, unfortunately. So I don't know what the scale is going to say, but hopefully I'll maintain the 2.4 that I lost last week. Because like I said, I'm still figuring things out and I'm still figuring out kind of like what range of carbs I need to eat and... Uh, how to manage the food addiction. Cause it's like, I know what I should eat. I know how many carbs I need to eat, but there are still times where I don't do that. Plain and simple. So I'm working through it. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend, whatever part is left of it. I'm going to go get my kids ready for church. My husband is working today. Unfortunately, I have to go to church by myself with my two kids. I have to lead the music in the kids group called Primary. So wish me luck for that. And yeah, I don't know what else to say. So when I weigh in on Tuesday, maybe I'll post my video a little bit sooner. So you might be seeing me in another couple days. But until then, have a great rest of your week. Keep working on your goals. We can do this together. Leave a comment down below if you have a channel or if you have anything that you'd like to share that's going on with your journey. I love to chat with my little friends here on YouTube and I will see you guys next video. Bye.